Now, since the pandemic started, our state has seen more than 5,500 virus-related deaths. And now funeral home directors fear that number will climb even higher in the coming months. News 19's Eleanor Tabone tonight telling us more. Anecdotally, everybody is seeing an increase of death. Coroners across the country are seeing spikes in deaths. We've seen over 100 cases of COVID-related death. Sabrina Gass, the president of the South Carolina Coroners Association, says some coroners' office across the state have exhausted themselves and, to an extent, their resources. If the COVID cases are just um, impacting the normal day-to-day -day cases that we're encountering, and that's across the state. While Gas says not all the deaths are COVID-related. People are have other medical issues that they're dying from as well. You know, we've had traffic accidents, we have homicides. We have suicide. They are impacting daily operations. We've been very busy starting to impact some of the offices and the staff. The coronavirus is taking a toll on funeral home staff, both physically and emotionally. They say while they have to put on a comforting face and smile for families, behind closed doors, they're suffering too. They're recent. Um... Today, as a matter of fact, April Dixon, funeral director and mortician at Glover's Funeral Home, is mourning the COVID-19 death of a colleague today. Sad day in our community, but we know God will see us through and we are definitely praying for that family during this difficult time. While she says business has been busy, but I do expect to get um, to continue to be busy. She fears it's going to get much worse. It's sad to say, but unfortunately, that's what the times we're living in at this um, moment right now. April says her biggest priority right now is definitely to keep my staff and myself safe because we all have to go home to our families. In Columbia, Eleanor Tabone, News 19 WLTX.